go! Pumping Brian Johnston. What a way to start. Go on. Monday, and Monday is Mustard and Boaty hang about together with some sort of vague idea of making ourselves less poor by messing around with cars. Isn't that correct, sir? Uh, I don't know. I didn't hear the beginning of that. You don't need to. Right. And now we're going to have dinner. Lunch. Well, we've, we're going to have... Lunch, then. There... Disastrous start because Boaty's broken one of his legs. Oh. And he's genuinely um, going to be distraught because he I wants to he wants to film us eating dinner, and this is going to be really difficult. He's going to. Um, is there anything wrong with calling your dinner time food dinner? No, <laughs> but it's not dinner time; it's lunch time. And when is dinner time? In the evening. Have you ever been to a dinner dance at tea time? Half past twelve. <laughs> What's the next bit? Uh, I can't remember. Right. This is the most important part of the day. Filming... Lunch. Right, stand on one leg. I am standing on one leg. Yeah, without your arms. No, I might fall. Oh no, you're gonna... No! <laughs> no, 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 I'm holding tight. Oh, that was quite a nice descent. Oh, yeah, of course, so, yeah. <sighs> so, today's yeah, video seems to be starting with an element of arse and about it, interrupting you what I'm talking about. See one when you have it done. I thank the Lord that you've been plumped and always plump for a petrol pump. What should we do today? Now, that's a very interesting question. I would like to talk at considerable length about it. Would you? No. Neither would I. Thank you. Good start. Hang on, Bolt is actually going to try and help me out with this car. There's a little winky yeah. there, look. Yeah. And I think this yeah. goes over the little winky. Yes, it does. Right. So what was your problem? Or are you just pretending you knew that now because I've pointed it out? No, I didn't have a clue. Right. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, it's... Um, I think it's a radiator winky and this hose here goes on there oh actually it goes to this yeah which is uh, what you put the coolant in yeah so that would allow the coolant flow between the radiator and the reservoir yeah so what's the radiator for then is does the radiator cool the water down after it's been heated by the engine. Is that what the ra radiator is there for? Yeah. No, we knew that. Well, not the radiator and the fan. Well, Do I should stop this now? The fan's part of the radiator. No, it's not. But there's also a branch line going off here. Yeah, there is. And that goes into... In there. Into this. Yeah. Well, what's all that about? It's far why too would, complicated for Why you. would water be going into the oily bit? It's not going into the oily bit, not unless it's broken. Well, it's going in there. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's going in the oily bit. Well, what's it going into and why? It's going into the bit to help keep the head cool. That's what? the whole point of the coolant in the first place, is it keeps all of the engine at a specific temperature. What specific temperature? About 102 degrees. That seems quite hot to me. It is. Thank you. What's it smell like? Tanya Jones from Swansea. <laughs> the Captain and Mustard show today is um, the Captain and Mustard. <laughs> the Captain and Mustard that shows how important I am in this relationship. Mustard, for some reason, kept something. 
and then I asked the question, I just remembered that I happened to know the He's name of an animal that could never die from falling and hitting the ground. He's having a conversation all with himself. And it somehow led to Mustard talking about what would happen if a blue whale fell off a chair onto a hard surface. Yeah, we know what would happen. It would splatter. Depends how big the chair is. No, not really. No, if it, I mean... In fact, if it was on a chair, it would probably not work at all. Well, it, it would break the chair and the splinters would go into its body and there'd be whale bits all over the place without a great deal of effort. I think the body would probably withstand a, a splinter. But my, I was thinking that given the size of a chair and given the size of a blue whale... Well, come back in a minute. Today has been... I wouldn't say a washout because it's not finished with yet, but you arrived late. Or early. Or early. We had some lunch, we which, did. which didn't take too long for me to eat. And then I had to do finish a job off on the car there, which you recorded, which might be part of this video. Other than that, we haven't really done anything today so far. So what shall we do? Um, I think we should do something dynamic, interesting, entertaining and profitable. Right, so we have a car up there, a green car, don't we? Uh, we do, yeah. That needs to go for sale. We own that. Why don't you put it for sale right now? Again? What, yeah, proper. I tell you what, while you're off doing your parenting duties, I will go up to the green bit, park up, and I will put it properly for sale in our Facebook shop. Right, okay. What green bit? Um, by what you call the um, giraffe. Surprisingly enough, I got confused by Bolty just then with his suggestion. We're going to give a guide price. Ah, that was it, yeah. Of 1,350. Good. That's more than I first thought. That means more money. Not necessarily. It's a guide price. It's an invitation to negotiation. Yes. You may want us to take a part exchange. You may want a discount because you will be offering the car the most phenomenal home. You might be an attractive woman. I'm not. No, you're definitely not. An idea. Why don't we uh, do a face-up picture and see which one of us two is the most attractive woman? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a better that's a better idea for the episode than either of us have so far. What's this idea? The five pound challenge. That you and I have five pounds each and we have to go around the charity shops in the locale and completely dress ourselves in female clothing. And whatever we get, whatever we get for the five pounds, that's all that we're allowed to wear. So if we haven't bought it within our five pound budget, we can't replace it with any, any other clothing. We own, we're only allowed to wear what we've bought for within that five pounds. But we have to go dressed as women. And then, and then we present the whole episode um, in whatever clothes we've bought with our five pound challenge and we um, if anybody is amused by what we've done they can make a donation to the charity of choice that's a brilliant idea let's not do it <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea of us going in with a five pound and yeah. like uh, we're going to get ourselves a new item of clothing for our next road trip or we could even buy each other an item of uh, clothing or something oh no that would be amusing yeah yeah that would be amusing but if it's just one item of clothing it becomes, i think it's a pound an item of clothing for a pound yeah is that possible in a charity shop yeah what like second hand honda pants yeah second hand honda pants we just waiting for the uh, re-arrival of Boaty, who's gone off over the hills somewhere with the idea of 
doing some internet stuff and doing an advert for the for Gladys. And he'll be back soon, I presume. Bolty has joined me in Rhiannon, which is another car that's going to be for sale quite soon, which you could take a part in it being for sale if you really wanted to. I would really like to do it. In fact, I would like to, as we've been delayed with the others, um, some of which is entirely my fault. I would actually like to launch them all for sale simultaneously. Would you? Yeah. Launch them? Yeah. I mean, so you've got a choice of these three cars. Off the wall at the same guide price. Ah, that reminds me. That reminds me. You know that young lady? Called Matthew. Ah, uh, yes. What do you reckon today's progress then? You don't think we've made any progress today? Um, well, there's been some progress on Rihanna, uh, I, I guess, but that's kind of... You mean, me, I've been fixing the car. Well, yeah, but even that's been two steps forward and one step back. No, it's been two steps forward and three steps back. Yeah, unfortunately. Right, so we can't really count that, can we? What about... What about Gladys? <clears throat> well, what's next with that? That is a good question. Um, there are still some minor bits of titivating that we could do if we chose to. Um, but do we want to? Um, is it going to make a difference? Should that be something that we're leaving for the new owner? Um, yes. I suspect it probably is. In which case, Gladys is kind of pretty much ready for her new home. I think. Let's do that. Baldy of Baldy. The Little Isle. So, we're having a little walk up the yard to where the cars are situated. Um, Rhiannon should be going up for sale this week, really. But I do need to deal with another thing. Now, this car, Gladys. When's it going for sale, Bolty? When? She's good to go? Yep. She is good to go. Tonight? Uh, tonight as in tonight or tonight as in when the video comes out? I don't know. No, neither do I. I did have a thought. Oh, go on. Um, part of what we're trying to do here, yeah, we're trying to make ourselves less poor. Yes, we're trying to buy and sell a few cars, uh, although that's turning into saving cars and rehoming them in with suitable new owners, suitable new homes. But we're also about building a, a community around all of this. And... <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> and I think that we ought to start a Facebook group to help facilitate that. A Facebook group called Mustard and Bolted Do Cars? I've just had a thought. Or Mustard and Boaty do Facebook. <laughs> Mustard and Boaty do. We already do Facebook. But yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but we don't do it as Mustard and Boaty. You've got a group. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on. Right. Could it be. Could it be something geared towards us getting what we want? Or just a platform where we can put the most stupid stuff up, like it, I already do? It could be all of these things. Right. And more. And more. And more. Excellent. Okay. I'm up for that. I will get it done this very evening. Telling you that you deserve a cup of tea. Well, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. And I'm only going to have that because of the FSM with his noodly appendage, as you just say. Yes. Would you like me to teach you how to play the Mustard and Bolty theme tune? Uh, uh you please. Two for the show, three to get ready, down four, five, six. You can tell he's no experience musically at all. <laughs> True.